In today's age, almost all advancement is technology-driven. With depleting natural resources, countries around the world have been looking for alternate ways to produce energy. And this latest development is the first of its kind. Yes, we're talking about the world's very first solar wind battery hybrid plant. We've heard about plants working with one renewable energy, but two? That's one for the books. If you're interested in knowing more about this miracle on Earth, stay with us until the end of this video. On September 28, 2022, an inauguration event was conducted for the hybrid power plant that we are just about to discuss in quite a detail. The event marked the beginning of a new chapter for the US energy industry, as well as its battle against climate change with the introduction of a new dual-mode power system. Using two power sources at once, this hybrid plant is the answer to power shortages and blackouts alike. If either of the two renewable energies is not available, the battery can simply kick in and fill the gap. The plant is massive and quite a sight to behold. Officially named the Wheat Ridge Renewable Energy Facility, this new power plant is in Lexington, Oregon. And being the newest innovation in North America, this plant has the capacity to generate enough power to light up a whole city once it achieves its full potential. But let's get technical. The plant features a whopping 300 megawatt wind farm and contains over 120 turbines, which commenced operation in late 2020. In addition, Oregon's largest solar facility, which has over 50 megawatts, and commenced operations earlier in 2022, and a massive lithium battery storage system with a holding power of over 120 megawatt hours, both work in congruency with the plant. According to Portland General Electric PGE, these elements can power up to 100,000 households. That is a huge number if you ask us. Clean experts have acknowledged the project as a step towards environmental sustainability, helping many US industries to transition away from fossil fuels. This first utility-scale plant can produce over half of the power at its maximum output, which was previously being generated at Oregon's last coal plant, which has recently been demolished. Now, there are some features of this plant that aren't exactly new to the world. For example, on-site battery storage systems aren't new to the fields of energy. In fact, they've been around for a long time. That, coupled with a soaring interest in solar plus battery projects due to its incentives, robust tax credits, and the depleting prices of batteries in the United States, has paved the way for more facilities to invest in on-site battery projects. The Wheat Ridge Renewable Energy Facility is the first US facility to have combined integrated solar, wind, and battery storage all in one place at a large scale allowing more flexibility in the generation of continuous electrical output. This really has taken the pressure off fossil fuels. Just last year, a law in Oregon was passed stating that all electricity sold within the state must be free of greenhouse gases by 2040. To bring this dream to reality, this hybrid plant was an essential part of the developmental plan for the state of Oregon. But how sustainable is this plant in the long run? Well, while solar and wind energy is both renewable, they are not limitlessly available all the time. Wind energy cannot be produced on wind farms when there are still days. Similarly, as night falls, solar panels stop converting heat into energy. For these reasons, these renewable resources, although environmentally friendly, were unreliable. But with the advent of powerful lithium batteries with vast amounts of storage capacity, Wind and solar hybrid energy plants can sustain utility customers even during slow periods by storing up to 10 megawatt hours of energy. But energy is not the only contribution that this plant will make to Oregon's welfare. It is estimated that the Wheat Ridge Renewable Plant has created over 300 jobs during construction, providing employment to many families. At present, the plant only employs about 10 employees as full-time staff. But as more and more plants spring up along the energy grid due to the increasing tax credits and financial incentives to energy manufacturers, it is expected that more jobs will open. As for the clean energy industry, batteries are not the only solution that it has been trying out. At present, the clean energy industry is testing a method that uses pumped storage to generate power by sending vast volumes of water downhill with the use of turbines. Others are currently experimenting with forcing water underground and keeping it there before releasing it into power turbines. 
Just between the years 2020 and 2021, the generated capacity from hybrid plants increased by 133%. And by late 2021, there existed nearly 8,000 megawatts of solar and wind-generated energy, which was connected directly to storage. Now, let's discuss the plant itself. The plant is located in a remote expanse just three hours east of Portland. It is a partnership between Portland General Electric and Next Era Energy Resources, which are two US-based energy companies. Furthermore, the companies have also been moving their customers towards using renewable energy, with nearly a quarter of a million people already on the renewable energy scheme. The new Wheatridge project is the key to the decarbonization strategy that Portland now seeks. Under the terms of the partnership, PGE owns about one-third of the wind output and purchases almost all the facility's power for its own renewable energy portfolio. On the other hand, Next Era developed the site for the plant and currently operates it, while owning two-thirds of the wind output along with all of the solar output and storage. What this signifies is that Next Era owns 100 megawatts of wind generation and one of its subsidiaries owns the rest of this gigantic hybrid plant. As for PGE, it aims to buy power from battery storage and the solar array over a 20 and a 30 year period, according to a power purchase agreement. Both companies are in it for the long run, and to put it simply, the plant has two parents that have ownership over it, and this partnership will land thousands of people with renewable energy for the long foreseeable future. But seeing this event in isolation only does not capture the ripple effect that it has on the US energy industry. Being the first of its kind, we are sure that many other projects will follow quickly in its footsteps. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory models illustrate that the US storage capacity may rise by almost five times by the year 2050. But the mission for a complete carbon-neutral environment is still far from completion and may require many additional years to be realized. PGE harbors the climate goals of limiting and reducing greenhouse gas GHG emissions by at least 80% by the end of the ongoing decade and aims to achieve net zero emissions across all of its operations by the year 2040. Coming back to the plant, apart from the plant infrastructure, the Wheat Ridge facility has also been given a new transmission line that connected directly to the local high-voltage grid that is operated by the Bonneville Power Administration. Of course, all these efforts mean that billions of dollars have been invested in this project till now. But the rewards that it will reap for the US consumer market will be manifold, and the same can be said for the environment. This is not the last that we'll be hearing of such projects because many are still in the pipelines, some of which include offshore wind plus batteries and hydroelectric plus batteries. It seems the energy industry is on a streak of development because at least nine facilities like Wheat Ridge in Oregon have been planned between 2023 and 2025. These projects will combine wind and solar energy along with humongous storage capacities to completely eradicate fossil fuel energy production. Some of these projects are to be constructed in California, Washington, Arizona, Iowa, Idaho, Oregon, and Illinois. One can only imagine the realized potential that such projects may have on the fabrics of these states and the damage they will reverse that has been subjected to the environment. It can be expected that over the next decade, much of the US will go completely green and reach the ranks of other green countries like Japan and Switzerland. The first hybrid renewable energy plant in Oregon has set an example for the world that a brighter future is not only possible but achievable with such projects. It's only a matter of time before many countries follow in the footsteps of the United States and adopt modes of energy generation that are much more sustainable in the long run. These projects would not only provide renewable energy to entire cities at much subsidized rates and without carbon footprints, but also provide employment opportunities in rural Oregon, leading to a better economy in general.